Hey YouTube, Kira Twig here, bringing you all my Yu-Gi-Oh! Fist of the Gadgets booster box opening. This is the latest, I would say, booster box set released in the Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG. It's a really interesting set. It's an TCG exclusive kind of set, giving us new support for the gadgets and the Fire Fists archetypes. Also giving us a lot of cards that needed the, you know, printing in the TCG for uh, the Arch Fiends and also for the Cybers uh, lineup. I'm waiting for a lot of the Cyber support in this set for sure. The Shooting Code uh, Talker, the sixth and final Code Talker for the six a tribute lineup and then also just the additional support definitely excited to look into building fire fists and just doing deck profiles for all the different cards in this set so let's go ahead and get started with the opening now i saw that some of the cards are definitely more difficult to pull including the uh i would say the two main fire fist monsters so we'll see how we do ratio wise usually i don't inform myself too too much on the expensive cards in the set until you know after i open it but i am aware that fire fist eagle i believe is the most expensive card in the set i don't know if they're on the front which looks like the secrets are on the back of the pack so starting off with the brotherhood of the fire fist tiger king which sometimes they hit or miss with the super rare foiling but so far i like what i see with uh tiger king and his foiling we have a signet optimization another card i've definitely been waiting a while for for the cybers deck so definitely glad that we got that finally l phase another one i think these all came out in the shooting code starter deck so nice to see all these different cards available now for us in the tcg we have boot up order gear charge for the gadgets their new support we didn't really get any new gadgets we got a bunch of new like spell and trap support for them to more focus on the deck which is definitely cool uh for sure and for our first secret we have a beautiful fire formation tanky for our first card so no new card for the secret to begin but a beautiful reprinting of fire formation tanky i don't think it was ever in uh secret rare before i can't recall if it was or not i know it's been an ulti super gold you name it but this is our first hollow fire fist spirit which i'm loving i've had rare copies for the longest time so glad to see a super rare foiling uh reprint of fire fist bear as well fire fist just came in so many different rarities but another nice reprint is the hidden city for sub terrors their field spell silver gadget one of the gadgets reprinted and we have boot up admiral destroyer dynamo so i might have been mistaken there this is one monster for the gadgets i always thought it was going to be purple gadget when i saw the cover and that monster being the case but i guess you know purple gadget was just a wasted name of this card sticking to the you know the boot up soldiers uh all the different ones they have that focus on you know having the other different gadgets on the field for kind of like an equip status so we have another silver gadget another fire fist spirit we have brotherhood of the fire fist cardinal and we have a raster liger for the link four in this set i can't remember i think this one might have been a promo i don't think it came out with the actual starter deck with shooting code but we also have a fire fortress atop lian peak so this is their field spell they have a field spell a ritual spell they have a lot in this set for fire fist a lot of different ways to build the deck too so that's pretty cool and i believe shooting code talker is a super rare so we'll see how we do we have a super rare a red gadget brotherhood of the fire fist rooster which i think i still have my secret rares but super looks pretty nice as well defcon bird for more cyber support we have another okay there's my play set of spirit right off the bat and for our next secret we have arch fiends manifestation which looks amazing as a secret rare doing summon skull right since its name also becomes summon skull but that artwork looks definitely terrifying and also menacing but also very beautiful if you know you could call summon skull beautiful which i am so let's see this is pack number five how we do with this one there's yellow gadgets, so we pulled almost all of them, I'd say. Another Raster Liger, boot up order gear change again. Signet Conflict, the counter spell for the Code Talkers, which I think my next deck profile is going to be a focus on the Code Talkers, so definitely excited for that. And our next one is boot up order gear force. I think I can see the gadgets in the card art for this card all together on Purple Gadget, which is now what I'm just going to call that one from now on. But 
Very, very nice. No shooting code talk yet. But like I said, I believe it is a super. I would like to see that. So let's see. Starting off again with another gadget. That's pretty funny. There's gold gadget. Yellow getting upgraded to gold. We have a swap cleric. More cyber support. Uh, reprinting of chronograph sorcerer, which I find very, very nice as well, just for how much it's used in all the pendulum decks. And we have an archfiend's calls. This is the synchro monster. We had the fusion. Now we have the synchro for the Archfiend monsters. All of them, I think, are also, yep, level six, just like Summon Skull was as well. But let's see what we can pull this time. Am I gonna start off with a gadget again? We'll see, here we go. Nope, we start off with the card I wanted to see finally, Shooting Code Talker, the final one for the Code Talker lineup. Now I say the final one, we do have one more version of Decode Talker to get, but of the main six, I'm glad we finally got this card. Definitely is gonna be a great addition to the Cyber deck. We also have a Boot Up Corporal, Commando Dynamo. Maybe there are some, I guess, just ones that are you know specific colored gadgets. I guess they just have a lot of the Boot Up core in this set, Swap Cleric. There's a Fire Formation Tensu reprint, and we've got Ignis Heat, the True Draco Warrior, which was a nice reprint at that as well. I'm not a big, big fan of, you know, True Draco, but I would say this one, trade bait wise, is definitely beautiful. And how much this card is used in the True Draco deck definitely deserves the super rare printing. Let's see what the next pack we get. We have, uh, they've also reprinted three of the Amorphages in this pack, so Goliath is one of them. We have an Upside Down. Uh, power hold the moving battery going right back up again we have starving venom fusion dragon another chronograph sorcerer so if I can get a place out of this would be pretty nice for sure and we have a brotherhood of the fire fist panda and I don't think panda is one of the expensive ones but I know there are a good amount of the secret rare fire fist in this pack so nice to see this uh, as one of our firsts to pull but like I said I definitely do like this set they reprinted an interesting amount of cards this time around definitely worthwhile for sure starting off with another gadget we got red gadget another rooster cardinal we have another tiger king and we've got sticking to the fire fist trend after that red gadget which was trying to be a fire fist with the red in its name but we have ultimate fire formation sinto their counter spell when a spell trap is activated while well, you control a fire fist monster and a fire formation spell negate the activation and destroy that card you will activate one shinto per turn that's a good card i definitely do like it since with a fire fist deck you definitely do have that set up most of the time on your field so very very nice pool I don't think it's worth much, but we have another Sinet Conflict. Talkback Lancer. Now this one also, along with Shooting Code Talker, this one just gives you great setup for your Cybers. And there, nope, oh, she heard me. I called it a girl. I don't think Shooting Code Talker is a girl, but I associate the Code Talkers sort of like the Bionicles. If any of you are a fan of Bionicles and Golly being the one of water, makes me think Shooting Code Talker is a female. We have a Dino Might, the true Draco fighter, another reprint. And we have Brotherhood of the Fire Fist Peacock. Very, very nice. I think this one, wait, I can't, I'm drawing a blank. I don't think this is one of the expensive, maybe it's a little expensive, I can't remember. I know, I think it's Eagle. That's, I, I say I say at the beginning of the video, Eagle is the expensive fire fix. But we gotta we go a little bit faster. I was dragging along there, but we have another Defcon bird. If most of you have seen them, we have a Morphage Lettery. Another Dynamite, the Draco Fighter. And we have a Fire Fortress atop Liang Peak once again. So we're already hitting some of the doubles, but none of the... Let's say There's also one other Cybers card that was short print in this set. I would say it's expensive. It's a Seeker Rare. I know that. Hopefully we can pull one of those. A Morphage Lechery again. There's a Sub Terror Final Battle. I love that it looks as a Super Rare for sure. And we have another Boot Up Corporal, Command Dynamo. And we've got Archfiend's Ascent. So we got the Exceed, Synchro, and the Fusion pulled of this card. Very, very nice. I definitely, another fact that I know that we got all three in this pack, definitely want to look into building a deck of the Archfiends for sure. I think Cybers will come first. But Cybers, Fire Fists, and then Archfiends for sure. We have Spool Code, another good card for the Cyber deck, just giving you free tokens, basically. Another final battle. There's our third Chronograph Sorcerer for that playset. Another Brotherhood of the Fire First Bear. And we've got Archfiend's Manifestation again. So we're definitely, you know, piling up on the Archfiend cards. I definitely have to look into what do you use to fusion some of this? One Summon Skull and one Dark Monster. But I don't think they gave us Summon Skull in this set, unless it's a Seeker Rare. 
and we haven't pulled it yet. So we're on to the right side. Some of the packs from the right might have moved over to the left. I have to count after this pack how many are on that side. We have Swap Cleric, Goliath again, Fusion Dragon, and we've got another Brotherhood of the Firefist Panda trolling us. It's a level 5. I don't think it's, uh, like I said, that expensive of a card. I have to look and see, but let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... Eight, nine, ten. Yep, we have ten. So either I already opened two on the right side, or some of them moved over to this side from the left. There's our fourth sorcerer. Another Synet Conflict, another Talkback Lancer, our third Shooting Code Talker, very, very nice, and we have Fire Formation Ingen. I almost forgot Fire Formation new ones were a thing in this pack, but the Secret Rare is very, very nice. Love that foil pattering for sure. Uh, very, very nice Fire Formation card. On to the next pack. We have a Fire Formation Yoko. They didn't give us Gyoko, and I think they missed a few needed Fire Formation, uh, Fire Fist reprints. Like Dragon for sure should have been in this pack. But we have a Prohibit Snake, our first one of those. Swap Cleric. And we have another Archfiend's Ascent. So we're getting a lot of the double. If I get one more of the Synchros for the Archfiends, that's going to be two of each, I believe, because I know I have two of the Fusion already. Let's see what our next pack gets us. Another uh, Dynamite. Another Lechery, Cardinal, another Subterra Final Bow, so there's our place out there. And we have Ultimate Fire Formation Sinto again, the counter spell. But they, I think they definitely were true about the reprints being crazy in this, not the reprints, the short prints being crazy in this set. So there's another Defcon Bird, Subterra Final Battle. Brother of the Firefist Bear. There's our first sloth. Now, this one I know is pretty popular for some time. And we've got the Ritual this time, which I completely forgot. Let's just give Archfiends one of every card for this set. This one being Archfiends Awakening. Being able to use this with Contract with the Abyss for this card. So, very, very nice. But we're, down, we're dwindling down. Two packs left. Let's see how we do. Another Command Dynamo. There's another Prohibit Snake, which we seem to have that trend too. Watch me pull Majesty Maiden in the next pack, since that seems to happen. Elf Phase, and we have another Ignis Heat, the true Draco Warriors. That makes two of this card as well. And we've got five packs for Bane. Hopefully we can pull something good. Here's hoping. Let's see how we do. We have a Subterra Fiendus. Do I have the... Uh, let's see... I'm looking for Majesty Maiden, so we've got Subterra Fiendus, another Shooting Code Talker. There's our first Code Talker, which I completely forgot was in this set as well. Or a Morphage Goliath, and we have Brotherhood of the Firefist Ram, a level 3 Firefist monster, but not Eagle. I remember now that it is Eagle who is the short print one, but we got four packs remaining. I'm not giving up on that Eagle pool. Pretty sure you need at least a play set to play the deck, but we'll see how we do. There's another Fiendus, and there's a gold gadget, and we have Archfiend Call. So let's see real quick. I believe I did pull two of everything. Two of the Exceed, two of that. Yep, except for the Ritual. We pulled two of every one of the Archfiend card. Definitely calling out to me there. But let's see how we finish off. With this, there's the Majesty Maiden for the second print. There's our first Latency, super rare for the Cybers. Uh, another Dynamite, another Lechery, and we have Brotherhood of the Fire Fist Swan. I know they have a Ritual as well, and now that I've said it, we're going to pull the Ritual in the next pack. You just need two Beast Warrior to summon this card. But like I said, they gave Fire Fist and Archfiends all the different types of summoning in this pack, which is definitely cool for sure. We have a Power Hold, the Moving Battery, our first one of that, I believe. Another Goliath, Green Gadget. Another Synet Optimization. And we've got another Brotherhood of the Fire Fist Peacock. So, very, very good link for sure to pull. But we're ending it off on the last pack. Will it be the Ritual for the Archfiends again? Will it be the Cybers? Uh, or will it be Eagle? Let's see. We have a Code Talker to start us off. Another Raster Liger. Another Latency. We have Brotherhood of the Firefist Gorilla, and we end with Brotherhood of the Firefist Elephant. So none of the ones I was thinking of, but still a very cool pull at that. I know there's a good amount of secret rares for the Firefist. I have to see if Peacock is worth anything or not. But other than that, very, very happy with all the pulls. Like I said, definitely a lot to work with for the upcoming videos, so I hope you all enjoyed. Until next time, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and Kira Twig out.